Hello friends, in this tutorial we're going to continue with our dynamic links implementation. We already did the setup on our Firebase console, so we're going to be looking at how to actually make this work in our application. So what we want to do is open your project and your project in main activity you add a component dynamic link component name it anything you want I added my dynamic link component and named it dyne link then in event on component dyne link on success listener here we have to check if our dynamic link is empty or it's not if it is empty you just do your normal operation or whatever you want to do in this example what I do is I just go to my home activity so you also do whatever you want to do when the dynamic link is empty otherwise if it's not empty I handle the dynamic link by creating two strings one get dynamic links only the other one is get core values links those are strings I made strings and make strings from here so the names don't really matter as long as what you are doing is the correct thing and you remember their use so in here I add the link though we won't use get dynamic links only if you want you cannot create that string but get core values links is important then here we catch the dynamic link and replace a string this string is the URL to the Play Store app. So I'll show you where you have to put this again when sharing the particular post. Then here, this is where I navigate to a particular uh, activity where I will handle the dynamic link from. So here, I just checked whether I'm logged in or user is logged in or not. Then I use a shared preference. I made the shared preference called Dyn and set its key to key and got the value of the dynamic link. Then on failure listener, I toast the error from Firebase then in on create activity what you do is you get the link i told you to save during the setup on your firebase console in dynamic links and paste it here or type it there so in the previous tutorial i made a dynamic link called uh, dynlink.page.link but i'm using another url this is also another dynamic link that I made in one of my projects so it's still the same procedure just input your dynamic link there don't use mine use your own then on activity becoming visible we get the dynamic link in our activity so I've put my dynamic link there and chosen my activity main activity We're done with setup on main activity. So now we go to the page where we receive the dynamic link. Add the shared preference we added earlier in main activity. It should be the same name. So the shared preference we added in main activity was Dyne. So create a shared preference. Name it Dyne. Or anything that you used in main activity in case you didn't use dine then on activity on create add logic as below so with this that will be your logic for the dynamic links so what we do here is check if our dynamic link is empty if the dynamic link is empty, we do nothing. 
else we get the dynamic link into a number variable have made the number variable called num so our dynamic link in this case is a number and will be converted to number and added to our variable then let's go to on bind custom view so when we bind our custom view we are going to check if the dynamic link is empty or not if it's empty just initialize your bind as normal otherwise get values at a particular position with the received dynamic link num remember we added this in on create so this is how we use dynamic links with position in short this num becomes the position and we are going to get the data from that same position and go to the next activity where we we'll show this data or do whatever we want with the data we've just collected so this won't even require to add one click logic once the binding is done it will automatically move to the activity we want to show the gotten information from then also don't forget to remove the dynamic key shared preference so that once you press back the application operates normally so let's look at the last activity this is the activity where our data is shown from so i created this view and i'm able to handle my dynamic links here this is the final stage where the data is shown and this is also the page from which i share particular data from to initialize my dynamic links so add the dynamic links component here as well i've added dyn link as my dynamic link component and in on create i'm going to get all the values that i got from the previous activity in order to show the information i got from my dynamic links so i get the config i get the downloads the number of downloads i get the logo and two so you do the same you get the data you've collected from your list view in previous activity with the keys that you set then let's look at on share logic what happens when i click share so on share logic this is our share logic here we'll create a number of strings position title description and image another one called short dine but short dine is not important because here it's actually redundant then in the position you can get the position from your list view let me just show you what's happening so this activity where we catch our dynamic link from so in a scenario where we haven't clicked a dynamic link and you want to share a file from a list view just click on it and we'll get its position in a shared preference let me show you where i get the position so on clicked i get the position here of my data and go to details activity so let's go back So once you have your position, your position here, then you set a title. I'm getting the title from my text view four, and description as well from text view one. So this will be configured according to your desires. Then I also get an image view, so that when I share my dynamic links, the image is shown alongside the text. Then I add a uri prefix block with catch id 
then put my dynamic link component there here paste the same link or type it the link you got from your firebase console on dynamic links paste it here then put your activity name there then inside here we are going to share the dynamic link if the generation is successful if the generation of the dynamic link is not successful we are going to tell the user by toasting an error occurred try again so if you set up like this your dynamic links should be working so the key is to have a shared preference to hold the dynamic link data and to add the dynamic link component for a comprehensive understanding you can check out my blog or download the sample project from sketch so we are going to test the dynamic links so let me just open this and click on share there we go the dynamic link has been generated It shows and our dynamic link is down there plus the other configurations we made then when I send it it goes like that thank you for watching remember to check out my blog and sketch for more projects